Floyd Easy Money Mayweather in his glorified sparring session. Hello, fight fans. Coach Nathan of NS Champ 7 Park Boxing Series at NSChamp7.com. And that's the title of my analysis of what was pretty much the only major fight happenings in professional boxing this past weekend. This match was held in beautiful Mexico City, Mexico, and it was billed as an exhibition. And it's, as in the case of most exhibitions, they're showcase events. That's why you see the grand ring entrances, the entertainers, whether it's the rappers doing their thing before the fight, or those who sing the national anthem. Now, although those are in the major uh, prime time pay-per-view events where there's titles and legacy on the line, well here, in this case, they're here to show off to the fans the man that they all came to see. As in this case, Mayweather, who was operating in the last phase of a long and prolific professional boxing career. Now, if you're not a fan of his, why bother to tune in and especially pay money unless it's for curiosity purposes or you're really naive enough to think that John Gotti III with two pro fights and a handful of MMA matches is going to stop, stagger, hurt, or even cut Mayweather. Now the trash talk and in your face antics, it can make it intriguing. And as a fan, you want to see as much action as possible. Maybe you're sitting there hoping for an epic battle to break out. But however, on the expectation side, most likely it will not be like a Hagler Hearns, their uh, three round war back in 85, or like an Ali Joe Frazier fight with world titles on the line and equally esteemed fighters with the winner building his legacy off the loser. That's why to me at least, if you take away all the flash and hoopla, it looked a lot like two guys testing their skills in the gym, in the ring, to see what works and what doesn't, with the big, bigger skill set belonging to Floyd. The only major drama was in the first round being a little too long, which happens at times in the gym if the timer doesn't work, and the referee being replaced in the second round over what appeared to be a controversy over the hooking right hand thrown by Mayweather, if it was a foul or not. Now, if Gotti wants to continue in the sport and become a world champion, this was a great learning experience. However, he's going to have to get a much better trainer. You could hear his trainer between rounds saying, just make it a dog fight. Get him in the corner and throw a lot of punches. Well, that's kind of hard to do against any skilled boxer. He needs a guy who's going to teach him how to jab, feint, some ring generalship, and some semblance of defense, and overall get a lot more boxing on the journeyman level. And conceivably, with two or three years of hard work, it can be done. Now, one final note on exhibition matches. It's more customary to see a champion who's already had a career and established himself to the fans fighting these events than a guy who's never won a world title, is supposedly a young and up and coming contender wanting to win a world title, and the majority of his fights have been eight, two minute round exhibitions. So that's my take on this one folks, but don't forget for elite boxing instruction, elite boxing philosophy, and elite boxing analysis, Click that like and notification button and share and subscribe to NS Champ 7 Part Boxing Series at NSChamp7.com. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next main event.